I think deferring the bill is a very wise decision, but I'd like to regardless deliver my oral testimony. I am at a loss as to why Ikeka Anderson review, uh, revived this bill in the first place. On November 19th, after Ikeka opposed Bill 59 introduced by Stanley Chang, we've went through this before, a similar proposal criminalizing the homeless, he stated in front of cameras that he wanted to research how similar policies affected other cities. If you actually did that, Ikeka, you would then know that between 2004 and 2008, San Francisco spent $9.8 million in adjudicating and incarcerating the houseless in the name of public safety. Was it effective? No. The houseless returned to the streets and parks. Civil Beat reported that the city faces a one, uh, $156 million deficit. These types of policies are unsound and costly. Lastly, I warned the council last November of the dangers of dehumanizing the houseless through criminalization. It has serious repercussions. I hope that the city council voices concern over the over the two recent murders of houseless persons, one in Kailua by Cinnamon's Restaurant last night and the other in Palolo Valley last December. Your words and actions, all of you, influence and have repercussions on how your constituents view poverty and houselessness. Criminalizing the houseless is neither a viable solution to the houseless nor a vehicle to gain popularity. This trend started in 2011 and must end now. <laughs> Please face this issue with both the compassion and moral grounding needed to successfully help the impoverished and with the fiscal responsibility to the hardworking taxpayers of this state. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh